Hello, my very most beautiful Sagittarius. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your December monthly reading. It is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. And everything that you guys will need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very most beautiful Sagittarius, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Sagittarius's energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. definitely feel like there's this energy here. You do have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. You got the Lovers, Page of Swords, Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. So it does kind of feel like to me that you guys could be could be hurting right now. Okay, we just, especially with this Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles energy. Um, you know, that is heartache. That is feeling, you know, pretty lost without somebody at this time. That's kind of the energy that it's showing up. I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, you're trying to figure out what to do about it. Um, I feel like you're really unsatisfied with the way that things are between the two of you. You're, you know, you're hurting, you know, you're feeling a little lost right now. And the Knight of Pentacles can be a card of planning. I do feel like you're trying to just figure out what, what to do from here, where to go from here. The Page of Swords, you could be really having somebody on your mind a lot this time, really thinking about somebody here. Um, it could also be a card of spine. I don't like the, really the word spine, but you could be, you know, trying to find out what somebody's up to, you know, asking people about them or you could be checking on their social media something like that if you're not doing that it's just them really being on your mind and maybe you wanting to communicate with them and get the lovers so you do feel like this is a very strong soul connection and you're feeling a little lost without them the wheel of fortune I, like i said i feel like you're really unhappy with the way that things are between the two of you and you really want to move it out of this energy so yeah, there's a lot of worries, fears, and anxieties right now with the full card in the reverse, and you're not really sure what action to take. You don't want to make things worse. You don't really know what to do here. Like I said, I do feel like you're feeling a little bit lost. Um, and the full card could just be, you know, worry, anxiety, feeling very anxious. The temperance in the reverse, I feel like you're having a hard time. Um, you know, it feels like almost like a lack of patience. Like, I just feel like you're very anxious, okay? Um, you know, being apart from this person, or especially if there's no communication, I'm an and you don't know what's going on. Some of you guys could have gotten blocked as well. And, you know, that could be making you feel very anxious because maybe you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know. You know, there's just a lot of fears, okay? I feel like you don't know You don't know how to move past it either. You just feel a very lost energy with you guys right now. The Nine of Cups in the reverse for your true intention. So, yeah, just feeling really unhappy on your own. You know, feeling really unhappy without this person. I'm a little bit hopeless as well. I'm not saying that it is hopeless, I, but I can feel like that's how you're feeling right at this time. You have the Four of Cups in the reverse as well. So really open to making this work. Um, you know, you could be feeling very rejected, um, but you you want to make this work. You're very open to working together, to communicating, to whatever needs to happen um, in order for you guys. You're, you're ready to compromise. You're ready to listen. Okay? Um, so I do like that energy from you. Now, we also have the Knight of Wands in reverse and the seven, or the seven of Wands here. So, somebody isn't taking any action or showing any interest at all. This person, I definitely feel like they have majorly pulled back their energy in a big way. Um, some of, Like I said, some of you guys, they have really blocked you out here. If they haven't blocked you on like social media or your phone number, they could just be like not responding or energetically blocking you out or just kind of being very distant or pushing you out like that. 
that's kind of what I'm seeing at this time. Now we will clarify where we need to, but we're, right now we're going to pull from another deck. We are going to pull some cards for your person's energy and see what's going on with them. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles just flipped around again. So you are, you're feeling very, you know, lost without this person at this time. So, you know, this person, I do feel like they're very unclear. There are some things that do look a little bit promising, but I don't know what's going on between the two of you exactly. It is a general reading. Um, but I do see that this person is being emotionally closed off or emotionally distant at this time, very guarded, um, has a guard up when it comes to you emotionally with the King of Cups in the reverse. That can talk about being emotionally unavailable, emotionally distant, guarded, you know, um, just not expressing, very emotionally distant at this time. And I do feel like it's because this person is trying to figure something out here. They have the Moon card. They're trying to go deeper within their, their own feelings. Or there's something here that they're trying to figure out. Okay, and I feel like that's why they're kind of pushing you away at this time, why they're not like letting you back in or wanting to communicate about things um it's because they're trying to figure something out within themselves is what that feels like to me the ten of pentacles in the reverse so there definitely has been a major disconnect here or they're they're not sure about what they want for the long term now but at the same time there's the ten of cups here okay so they know that at one time they were really really happy with you um but there's something going on here so we're going to take a look and see now we have the lovers in the reverse again for the headspace so acknowledging once again that something has changed there's been some kind of major disconnect here the lovers can also talk about um it can be a decision as well as it can be a turning point so i do feel like there was some kind of turning point within this connection where something has shifted something has changed what i don't know what caused that um and it is a general reading but there is something here um, there's been a turning point and something has shifted for this person and it does feel like they're recognizing that there's been a disconnect and now they're trying to figure out, you know, there's a decision that needs to be made. They're trying to figure out what to do from here. I feel like they don't know. They definitely are pushing you away while they figure this out, but in their heart space is the six of cups. So they are definitely still thinking about you. Um, you are still in their heart. They are still, you know, they spend a lot of time thinking about what you guys have been through, the times that you guys spent together, you know, all of that, even though there's a disconnect, you know, they're not moved on from this yet either. Two of swords. Okay. So that's in their true intentions. Like I said, they're trying to make a decision here and they're trying to use more of like a logical um, over emotional so they could be trying to push the emotions aside altogether and just think like is this what I want is this what's best for me I feel them being very much in their head at this time but their potential action is the eight of cups in the reverse so they could be moving back towards you or they just or this could just be saying um, that they haven't disconnected emotionally from the situation okay so we're going to need to clarify and take a look but with this energy their, their potential outcome is the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles in the reverse so we're going to clarify this as well. It does kind of look like to me that this person doesn't like the way that things are between the two of you right now either, but they're not ready for a commitment yet either. I don't feel like this person is making up their mind fully in the month of December. So we're going to clarify some things and see what's going on. Honestly, your energy feels pretty clear to me, except for maybe the potential outcome. But even that, I feel like this is, you know, this person not showing any interest or taking any action. Um, and you know blocking you out one way or another so honestly your energy does feel pretty clear to me i don't really feel a need to clarify that too much but i do want to clarify their energy tell me about this lovers in the reverse why is the lovers in the reverse here seven of cups so because there's a lot of emotional confusion this person can't seem clearly they don't really know maybe they don't even know why um, they feel the way that they feel. You know, there's just a lot going on. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. The King of Cups, but they know that you love you. 
So they know they love you, but something's not the same. Something's going on. There's a, there's a lot of emotional confusion, and they don't really know what to do. Okay, so they could be feeling, with that energy, they could be feeling very overwhelmed by their emotions at this time. Tell me about the Six of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. So a part of them does want to work on this. A part of them, you know, can't deny the way that they, you know, everything that you guys have been together. Um, I feel like there's something here with, I'm getting the word like friends. Like you guys are more than just lovers, okay? You guys have been more than just lovers. You guys have a really great bond, a really great friendship. And that really does mean something to this person, okay? That's something that they spend a lot of time thinking about. That's something that's really weighing on their heart. Tell me about this Two of Swords. Got the Strength card. So they're definitely holding back. That's, you know, they're they're making themselves. They're finding the strength to hold back while they make this decision. They're trying to do what they feel like is best. But I feel like they're definitely being more logical about the situation than emotional. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in the reverse. The Ten of Cups. So, you know what? Some of them could definitely be moving back towards you because I feel like they just can't help it. But I still feel like they're not going to be ready to, you know, go all in with that energy. Um... Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Death card. So, to me, this is kind of like, I don't know how to, ex with the, I don't know how to, like, what the phrase is for the energy that I'm feeling. Um, I do feel like they're, they're going to give it a chance. I don't know why I'm getting, like, the word, like, temporary chance. I don't think that's the right phrase for what I'm feeling. But, like, like they're going to give you guys a, an opportunity to prove it or to try again. Um, so I don't feel like they're ready to like full on go all in in December. Um, but I do feel like they're willing with the Wheel of Fortune, they're willing to see. Okay, they're willing to see if you guys can transform it. They're willing to see if you guys can um, make it happen. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse, they do miss you. They're lonely without you. I do feel like you will hear from this person, especially with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune, Eight of, Pe Eight of Cups in the reverse. This person is definitely coming back in. Like I said, I don't, I don't think they're going to full-on commit again right away, but I do feel like they're willing to see if you guys can work through it, okay? They're willing to give it a chance. That's what that is feeling like to me. So, we're going to get you some confirmation, clarification, and some advice, my beautiful Sagittarius's, but that is what I'm seeing for December. So if they're acting like they don't care at all, if you're worried about that, that's not true. This person definitely still loves you. This person is definitely really thinking about you, and they're definitely coming back towards you, okay? They're at least going to give you guys an opportunity to see, you know, to talk, to see something of that nature. Let's see what we got here. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So try not to take it too seriously. Try to stay present in the moment. Try to, you know, recapture some of that. Try to be fun. Try to be flirty. Try to remember why you guys fell in love in the first place. Let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. So having faith, letting go of the the control issues, you know, the art of allowing, allow things that are meant to go to go and allow them to come back when they are meant to come back. And, and when we let go, it really does free up the energy space, you know, energetically for them to be able to come back in. When we hold on, we're building up resistance and it makes it harder for them to be able to. And when they do come back, there's resistance and there's issues. You know, by letting go, you're freeing it up for them to come back in much cleaner, much clearer, okay? Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This always does remind me of the Ace of Wands. So I definitely feel like there's going to be a brand new opportunity for you guys. You guys still are very passionate about each other. Um, especially here, you got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So there's something about the two of you. Um, you know, this person definitely feels it too. Um, you guys are definitely going to have another shot at this. So I do like this for you. We're going to see how this plays out. So that is what I have for you, my loves. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus can resonate more than your sun sign does. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. If you hit that notification bell, then when we do our monthlies, mid-monthlies, weeklies, and bonuses, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. But most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending you guys so much love and light until next time.